What's up guys? Uh, I'm gonna, I almost made a video when I did this on the, the glass eye, but I'm gonna give you a little how-to tutorial um, on how to get rid of the uh, texturing or whatever you want to call it on the um, glass eyes so that it looks more like the Force Awakens version that has this stripped out and a bit of the brass uh, showing through. Um, it's insanely easy to do. Um, I was kind of nervous because this is one of the Graflex shop ones with the glass inside. So I was a little nervous on doing it and honestly you really, really can't screw it up. Um, I know it's a little nerve wracking of a project, but uh, it's surprisingly easy. So let's see if I can show you guys here. Uh, I'm gonna be using one of the stock uh, 2.0 fake glass eyes just because it's what I have to destroy. Um, so, um, let's see, I'm gonna do my best to get everything in frame here. So here's what I did. Um, I saw this on the Graphics Addicts Facebook page. Somebody had suggested this. So this is totally not my idea. I wish I could remember who it was that actually said it, um, but I stole the idea. Um, so don't give me any credit for this. Um, well, you can give me credit for making the video, but not for the idea. Uh, so I'm using my cordless drill just because it's got this nice, easy to use chuck. So what I did is I just put the threads in there, tightened it up. Um, oh, it probably helps if you have a battery pack, huh? Let's put a battery pack in that. You can tell this video clearly wasn't very well planned. Okay, so looks like it's spinning pretty good, pretty evenly, which is what I want. Uh, so essentially all I used to take it off uh, I used this fine metal file. This did most of the uh, most of the work. And what I like about this is that it's a lot wider. So you really can't, like I said, screw up. You can't, I mean, unless you go inside there or you go over, which if you can't use a file, then you shouldn't attempt this. Uh, but if you can hold a file and press a button, um, that's pretty much it. Uh, I used this diamond dust, whatever, Harbor Freight one to kind of clean it up when I was done. I went over it with some 60 grit uh, laying around, also from Harbor Freight. And uh, just to finish it off, I've got some of this Never Dull, uh, you know, the wad, wad polish stuff. Uh, or you could use something like the Mother's Polish on a rag. And I used that just to really clean it up when I was all done. Uh, the nice thing about it spinning is it's really, really easy to get it nice and clean. So let's see if I can do this on camera and not totally screw it up. So basically, just gonna go like that, get it going. I'm gonna just go like that. Uh, I kinda like to move it back and forth a little bit just to make sure it's even. And see even right there where I slipped off, there's no damage because this thing is significantly wider. So, let's see if you can see that there. It's starting to kind of go down. It's kind of a slow process. I mean, it is, but it isn't. Um, this seems to be a little harder. I'm guessing this is a solid metal, not uh, just a brass that's been coated like the uh, Graflex Shop one. Okay, it's getting there. I wish I knew how to edit because I would add music or something so that it's not just you watching me do this, but um, there we go, fresh battery, this should help. There we go, almost there. So I don't know if you can see how I'm kind of just going back and forth as I do it. Okay, you can 
can see we're pretty much there. It looks a lot worse on camera. Give it a couple more times. Sandpaper. Okay, so as you can see, if this focuses, let's try that. It's pr like pretty much smooth, so now all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take some of this wadding polish here, just a little puff of it. Spin it. All that nice black stuff shows that it's working. Getting it nice and polished. And then clean it off a bit. And this isn't the most amazingly perfect job because I'd like this video to not take up too much time. But uh, actually, I'll, let's take it out of the drill because I'm not going to do any further. So you can see that little bit of brass coming through. It looks like this actually is uh, plated. Um, so you can see a little bit of the grooves in a few places where I, I could have gone a little deeper, but uh, for the sake of the video, I wanted to speed things up. Let's see if that gets it to focus. There you go. So yeah, um, no damage anywhere on the front of that. Nothing on the back. Threads are still good pretty much a non-screw up method to do this. Um, like I said, take it slower than I did because I was trying to burn through the video. Um, but at the same time, um, you're really not gonna screw up. Like you just can't. Um, and so yeah, the end result is you'll have something like that or like this. So hopefully that helps some of you guys out that are uh, doing the Force Awakens uh, the styled sabers, I guess. Um, to get you a little closer to screen accurate.